Hello, today we're going to make a beautiful butterfly wing ring. A lovely little butterfly on a ring with amethyst stone. Let's get started. Cut two lengths of copper wire 10 centimeters long, 4 inches, and bind them in the middle with a 0.4 millimeter wire. So do about 10 turns and then secure with the pliers. You can just judge that where the middle is or you can measure it. I'm not a measurer, so you're welcome to do that as long as it's near the middle. So here we're going to wind and curl up the ends, keeping the ends together so that it is even. The curl will be exactly the same on each end of that wing. Now you're making the butterfly wing and you're doing them in tandem so that each one looks exactly the same as the other. Begin at one end and begin curling carefully so that you keep both ends in your pliers. And then just give a nice relaxed little curl. Then turn it around and making sure your ends are even. If you have to, then just trim a little piece of the wire off and then do that same curl. Nice tight little beginning and then curl, curl, curl and that's the body of the butterfly. If you wanted to, you can make it a very tight little curl. It just depends on your own preference. And voila, magic, open up your butterfly. Isn't that pretty? Such a sweet little butterfly already. I also kink the tops just to put that little bit of a point at the top of the, the wing. You can see my other examples as well. Just bend with the pliers and it makes a little kink. Now we're going to decorate the middle of that butterfly. It's much easier to do it now than later on when it's on the ring band. Just using some 0.4 mil wrapping wire, thread a few beads on it, anything that looks pretty. Here you can use your imagination and choose whatever you want. As long as it's not too scratchy, I would think. You don't want it sticking up too high. You could also use different metals here, different wires. Silver would be beautiful, or lovely goldy brass, or gold, whatever you like. Make the ring band now. Uh, take 35 centimeters, 14 inches of one millimeter copper wire, and wrap that around your mandrel, and you can make it to size. So just do that carefully, leaving two little tails. You could also do a plaited or a, a twisted band here, but I, I like the look of those plain bands. I think it will look good with a butterfly. Take it off the mandrel, just give it a squeeze together, and then bend those little tails upwards. A nice tight little bend. And then you're going to wrap them onto the band with a 0.4 millimeter wire. Binding each side and make sure that they finished off nicely so there are no little scratchy bits sticking out to make the ring uncomfortable. Now we're going to fit that butterfly onto the top of the band. Just push it down carefully and you'll see exactly where it fits. Those two tails just come straight up through the body on either side of the beaded middle. And then the one goes across to the opposite side and the other around and onto the opposite band side as well. Then take that wire underneath and wrap it around as many times as it works and then make sure they're secure and do this on both sides. 
It's very easy. I find that I hold anything on tightly with my thumb and then the rest is all secured around that area. It keeps it straight and secure. We're just going to put that back on the mandrel and give it a tap. Make sure all the, the wires are lined up and it looks good. Great, it really looks nice. This has been such a fun project because I can think of so many variations to this. Thank you for watching. It's been super showing you. And I hope you make many, many pretty rings as well. Take care and bye-bye.